All right, thank you. So for those of you that have been following us on social uh, throughout the last week or so, you've seen quite, quite a bit of teasers of this machine. Um, as Dennis briefly mentioned, this what you're looking at right here is a prototype machine. It is a 30 inch commercial walk behind mower called the Skag SFC. That will stand for the Skag Finish Cut. So one thing we were really hoping to achieve as Dennis touched on briefly at GIE Expo this year was have this machine in front of the thousands, thousands of landscapers that attend that show. Let them see it, let them touch, feel it, operate it out in the demo area, similar to what they did with the turf storm last year and get all that feedback Unfortunately, we're not able to do that this year, but uh, just a quick reminder, once this, is, once this event is all done, all of this, all these video clips will be posted online. Use that as your opportunity to provide feedback based on what you're seeing here today. And again, just because this is a prototype machine, what you are seeing here today, just like the turf storm, is very, very likely going to change come production time. But let's give you a look at the machine where it currently sits right now. So the machine is powered by a Kohler Command Pro CV224 engine. It's been performing really well for us out in the field in the testing. We have it at a few different test facilities, as well as some landscapers using it, uh, getting a feel for it and doing the testing for us. So that's been proven to be a very good package for this machine. Uh, the major structural components of the machine, the cutter deck and the frame, all heavy duty stamped steel. Um, so rock solid, tough, no stamped aluminum, no lightweight steel, all fully fabricated heavy du duty steel on this machine. So it kind of really does live up to that name and the standard of uh, Skag power equipment. We'll take a look underneath this cutter deck, which that didn't come off that easy for me in rehearsal, but I'm, I become a pro. So looking at underneath here, you can see the reinforcement plate under here that runs throughout uh, the entire top of the deck. Very similar to what you'll find on our Hero deck and our Velocity Plus deck with that extra reinforcement at the spindle areas where it's needed. You're gonna see a two, be, uh, a two blade system on this machine. And with it not being a timed deck, it is an offset deck. That's gonna make the event of whenever you have belt breaks or just you need to update that or work on this system, it's gonna be a much quicker belt change. And you can do it in really a matter of minutes compared to a more complex setup that you might find on a timed deck. You'll see the heavy duty, heavy duty idler system on this machine that really mirrors what we have on our um, higher end product. Really nice beefy spring, beefy um, idler arm, so real rock solid unit right there. We'll shift around here to the height of cut on this machine. Right now where we're currently at is one and a half inches to five inches on this machine and it is in quarter inch increments. So again, that's kind of what you're gonna find on our zero turn riders, V-Ride, our entire lineup. We set it down to the quarter inch increments. So a nice advantage with this machine is being able to get really truly precise to where you want it to be rather than in half inch increments. And it is a vertical pin drop, so it's gonna be really nice um, for adjusting it. That's the same setup that we're really running on a lot of our riders right now. Shifting to the handlebar area, what you'll see down here, a little hard to see uh, with the knob in the way, but you're gonna see three different holes that will allow you to raise and lower the handlebars on this machine. So uh, shorter gentlemen like uh, Pat Roloff or females running this machine are gonna be able to lower this. Sorry, Pat, I'm really coming at you today. Um, uh, but you're gonna be able to raise and lower this based on operator preference. Um, so that really is gonna help you increase the comfort of your machine um, for you. It's nice, heavy duty, beefy, oversized um, handlebars so it get, has a really nice grip and a nice feel. And you'll notice at all four corners that the cables on this machine, the throttle cable, the transmission engagement, those are all fed internally through these uh, uh, handlebars. So that's gonna give it a nice clean appearance as you can see right here. And it's also gonna protect those cables in the event you're mowing around bushes, trees, whatever might come and snag on those cables. Uh, so it, it really helps clean it up nice visually and it protects those cables as well. And shifting here to the operator station, we wanted to have absolutely everything we could um, for running this machine all in one single place. So what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see your throttle and your choke, full forward is your choke engagement. You'll see your blade engagement and you're also gonna see your transmission drive engagement right here. And then also you, right there, you're gonna see a standard hour meter, hour meter um, on this machine. One thing I do wanna point out while I'm physically holding this um, like this, Again, the prototype machine, just want to keep hitting that point through. Um, these bales for the engagements 
are actually going to be more flush mounted on this handle. Um, so you're not going to have that feel of a uh, bail on here. That's just not currently on this model that we have here today. Um, and then also while we're at that angle, you can see the angle of these handlebars kind of follow the more natural ergonomics of your hand when you reach out. So we got that inspired inspiration by our SWZT walk behind that has the ergonomic handles. So we brought that same ergonomics to this machine right here. And also to start the machine, real nice feature for us, the recoil start again is mounted up here at the operator station. Very easy to pull and get it started. No needing to go to the side of the machine and crank it to get it started. So again, I can probably speak for myself. This is one of the biggest reasons I'm upset we can't be at GIE. I know we've had an incredible amount of feedback of people wanting to see a machine like this. I know you guys would have really liked to see it in person. Um, again, prototype machine. What you see here today is going to be a little bit different from uh, when it's going to be in production. The number one question I know we might be getting uh, submitted right now via live is uh, MSRP. That we don't have for you, unfortunately, at this time because it is a prototype machine. Um, specs are subject to change at this time. But we can tell you with where the project is and where our targets are, this is going to be very, very competitively priced in the market. Um, so we're really looking forward, again, like I said, once we post these video clips online. Bring us your questions, bring us your feedback. Once this eventually reaches pilot stage next year, um, use that as an opportunity to give us your feedback. And uh, that kind of covers the uh, new Skag SFC finish cut 30 inch mower. Uh, the weight is finally almost over, the prototype you're seeing at least here today. And with that, we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna transition into the uh, live Q&A session. Thank you. <laughs>